Hey there Titan, so in this video I'll show you how to upload files with community Salesforce session. So we have SSO configured here to go to our community, so let's head over to our limits, take a look. And we have our uh, SSO configured to use Salesforce session and use Salesforce community. Once we use the community, we have to set this up. And I have a visual force embedding the uh, form in our community. And now what our form will do is just update the contact and upload a file. So let's try and upload a file and I'll hit submit. And let's head over to our integration logs and take a look of what happened. And if I will refresh this, you will see that the contact was updated successfully, but the files, we have an error from Salesforce saying insufficient access on cross-reference entity. Um, in order for us to fix this, it's relatively simple. The only thing we got to do, and once we create the file and our push, we have to map the network ID. So we're going to go to our uh, push of the file to the mapping, and we will search for the network ID. Now, the network ID basically represents your community ID, and you can get this ID in several ways. You can either get it from Titan and just run a query to Salesforce at an object and get the network and then put a condition let's say the network name equals your community name so if i'll do uh, other and go to my community and my community is called wild donkey and i'll just pass it over there and then map it to a hidden and then use that hidden in your network id push or you can just go to salesforce open your developer console and run a simple query so let me just close all this, it's not relevant. Okay, so let's say we'll do select ID name and name from network. And we'll execute the query and we get one network, which is my community name wild donkeys. And this is the ID. The only thing we got to do is just grab that ID head back to our builder. And in our push, we'll select the network ID and we'll select other map this guy over here apply and finish save the form let's head back to our community refresh the form and upload a file select this guy hit submit let's head over to our integration logs and we'll refresh And we'll just hit reset because we didn't see the correct logs. All right, so this is our form. We have a file create. And there it is, our record ID. Let's take a look at the contact so we can see everything here. We can see that the note was created from Jack Rogers. And if I will, we can switch this to lightning so we can see it easier. And Head over to the related we can see one file and that's that and this is how it's done